picking up a Scar 16 to the 4090, the first game I wanted to jump into was Metro Exodus so that I could finally play it in 1440p on higher ultra and see how great the game really could look. Sadly, I found out quickly after getting it that the game is actually unplayable if you put it into Ultimate Mode, which is Discrete Graphics, instead of Advanced Optimus. Not being a fan of leaving well enough alone, I decided to keep looking into this issue and came across an ASUS forum post where some people started calling out rebar as being a possible issue. So I started looking into the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, which allows you to disable rebar if you choose to. After getting the NVIDIA Profile Inspector installed from the GitHub link, I don't know if the other websites are actually supported or if they're malware, you're going to open it up and you'll be able to search for the game you're looking for and go through the settings. Hitting this magnifying glass in the top right corner will be able to see hidden NVIDIA settings and find what we're looking for. The flag that was pointed out by another user on the ASUS forums is going to be the flag that was used to fix Cyberpunk and Red Dead Redemption in the latest NVIDIA driver patch. Two quick things to note, you can use the Control F function to pull up whatever you're looking for on this, but it's not showing up because I used the game bar to capture this. You can also disable rebar entirely from this, but it has about the same effect as using this flag did in the benchmarks. Immediately after booting in Metro, I was stoked. The frame rates were stable, highs were where they were supposed to be, I think the lows were where they were supposed to be, but I can't tell. So after getting through this, I decided to hop over to the benchmarks and try to see what's actually going on. Looking at this first chart here, this is with the cyberpunk flag enabled. Looking at the chart, we've got a maximum frame rate for the 1% of 219, a minimum 1% low of 74, and an average of 145. Going from there, we'll hop on over to having the advanced optimus enabled instead of the discrete graphics. And we've actually got a lower average frame rate of 140, a lower maximum frame rate of 206, but a much higher 1% low of 89 compared to the 74. Zooming into the charts to get a bit more of the story for what's going on here, we actually see that the frame rates get as high as 240 in some sections, but only just a little bit. The bigger thing we can see is that with rebar enabled using discrete graphics and the cyberpunk slash red dead flag the lows are very low getting as low as 10 in some spots whereas if we go back over to advanced optimus instead of discrete graphics while the highest we see is only about 230 if that for a split second the lowest lows we see are still around 30 fps and the graph is a much more stable line with a bit less of the frizziness of the other one. So with all that figured out, it's probably better just to leave it in Optimus, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and try using the discrete graphics mode for a bit. I've had some issues with the NVIDIA container not switching over display modes when starting games, so I'm gonna just give this a shot and see if it's any better. But at least as far as the benchmark goes, it's a mixed bag on if you want a higher average versus higher 1%. And those 1% were a lot higher than the average or the maximum went up. So it's probably going to lean a lot more towards Optimus in the end. But see how it goes.